Hey guys, what is going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech, and today we are going to be installing StarCraft on our Raspberry Pi 4. And this is something I wanted to do right after my Doom 3 video, but yeah, it took a little bit of time. I still actually have my original StarCraft CD. Imagine that. I lived through high school with this. So let's get started. So recently I've been following this YouTuber by the name of Pi Lab. He actually has a lot of these installed on the Raspberry Pi and he's tested it and he has gameplay footage of the actual game. Today we're going to be installing the original StarCraft and it's not the StarCraft that you could actually get from Blizzard.net. That one is like a free version and they kind of spruced it up. This is the original StarCraft from 1998. So you do have to have either a copy of this or I'm pretty sure you can find it online somewhere to get this installed. We do need both StarCraft and Brood Wars, and you do need a Windows computer to install this on. So to get started, you have to install Brood Wars onto a Windows machine, just so you could get the installation files. Now, once you get the installation files, copy it over to your Raspberry Pi. You do also need to copy two other files within the ISO, which is the install.exe. So I didn't do that method because I have the ISO files. I actually, these are old CDs that I had, and you could tell from the bottom of these, I don't know if you could see right now, but they're a little scratched up and to read these, it takes forever. So I managed to find a copy of the ISO. Even though I wrote the original game, I managed to find a copy of the ISO. So I'm gonna show you guys how to extract it from the ISO in Raspberry Pi. That way we kind of skip that process, but it's a little bit slower because, uh, anyway, let's, let's just jump into it. So here I have my downloads folder on my Raspberry Pi. So SE1 is, um, the StarCraft folder that I got installed from Windows. You see it's everything's extracted. I have the exe files and everything, so that's fine. Next, I have the StarCraft ISO and the Brood War ISO. And then I also have this little lib folder. Now I'm gonna show, I'm gonna leave a link in the description below to where you can get this actual file and also to the forum which I follow to get this install going. But yeah, you, we're gonna need this to actually run StarCraft. But before that, we have to finish up everything else. So there's no way to actually open the ISO from Raspberry Pi. Um, there is a way you could actually download a software, but I'm just going to do this through terminal. And I'm going to head over to my downloads folder. So I'm going to change my directory over there. I'm going to go into SC1. Oh, actually it's here. So I'm going to make dir temp. I'm going to make a folder, sudo mount. And I'm gonna do StarCraft ISO to temp. So there, it's mounted. It says it's right protected because it's an ISO. So if I go over to temp directory in my file manager, you're gonna see install.exe. We're gonna copy this over to our main install directory and paste this. Now we're gonna rename this to star. Craft, delete that, uh, MPQ. All right, now that we did the StarCraft one, we have to do the same thing to Brood Wars. So I'm gonna do sudo u mount temp. So it's gonna unmount the ISO. So I'm gonna do that to Brood Wars. So sudo mount, is it Brood Wars? Nope, yeah, it's probably called Brood Wars. That's why I named it. Starcraft Brood Wars, okay. Over to temp. And let's do the same thing. I'm gonna head over to my temp folder again. Now I'm gonna have another install, which is Brood Wars. Copy that over to my SC1. Paste that. Rename that file. Uh, where did it go? Install, come on, I, I, there you go. Rename that file to broodwars.mpq. Oh, brood war, sorry, don't add the S, brood war. All right, now that we did all the installation files, I'm gonna unmount it because I don't need to use that anymore. So sudo you mount temp. And I'm gonna head back over to where I downloaded this file called libstarcraft.tar.jz. Open that up. It should have two files in here. You see that? And all I need to do is extract those over to my StarCraft 1 folder. 
Dragon drop should work. Yeah, it does. Awesome. Then in my terminal, I'm going to go over to SC1. Okay. So now that we have everything moved over, installed, copied over, we still need to install wine. So I'm going to do sudo app install wine. This is the ARM version of wine. So it doesn't work with like Windows um, applications unless it's compiled for ARM. But that doesn't matter. The software that we just installed, which is libscr, that will actually be able to translate what we need to translate from the Wine version to an x86 version so we could run StarCraft in ARM on Wine. All right, now that Wine is installed, we're ready for the command to actually work to execute StarCraft in this environment. And it's a little bit long of a command, so you can actually turn it into a script so you don't have to remember the command itself, but here it is, ld library underscore path equals period, which is ld library path would be here. Set architect Linux or set arch Linux 32 dash l wine lib s. Come on. Oh, it doesn't auto finish. Lib screen sa arm.exe.so I forgot to initiate wine that means it has to create the wine folder and its program files and everything huh it seems that I didn't move over the files that I thought I did so let me double check this oh I didn't because I only dragged one file over my fault so yeah you gotta drag both the files over come on now there you go now I see it. Something's happening. Oh, it's a little funky, but it seems to be running. It's my monitor because it's a 1080 monitor and it's like kind of spazzing out because it's not in the right frequency. So we're going to have to fix that with XRNDR. So let's do XRender. And what do I have here? XRender. I do have this mode 640 by 480. So that's what I'm probably going to need to do. What is my output device? HDMI 1. So XRender output HDMI 1. Okay. Mode 640x480. Will I kill my screen like this? It does do kills my screen because it's so finicky. It could be because my HDMI capture is all like in the way of trying to transform it correctly. Or maybe my Hertz is wrong. I don't mind it being it's stretched. Like it's supposed to be box letter four by three, but it's stretched to 16.9. I think my monitor is what's screwing it up with the uh, fuzziness. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing I could do unless I swap out the monitor. So hold that thought. Uh, right now I'm just using a HDMI to a DVI converter. Hopefully I should be able to get it. Needs power, right? That makes sense. Let's hope this works. Cable not connected. There are, here we go. This is a HDMI converter. I use this a lot. I'll leave a link to the description. This actually has the audio too. So these converters are amazing. I'm going to plug in this. This goes into the back of the Raspberry Pi. Then I plug the VGA cable to the back of this guy. There we have it. And because I'm not filming with uh, my HDMI recorder, uh, you're going to have to see it through here. I'm not gonna be able to really play like this either, but let's take a look. Running that same command again, I'll leave the command in the description below. But look at this. Obviously I don't have audio anymore because I don't have anything hooked up to HDMI, but I'm just gonna assume it's working. It actually loads really fast, faster than what I think. So, if anybody played this game uh, back in the day, oh my god, there's eight players. Big game hunter. I am. Um, this is so hard to do. Oh my god, everything's so sensitive. F10, options, speed, obviously, go the fastest. 
mouse scroll I'm probably gonna have to reduce that there you go oh man brings back so much memories I know the newer game looks really good I actually want to play the cartoon version they, ha they have this Starcraft on cartoon or HD version the remastered that looked pretty interesting but I I really like this game and it works so well this is a Raspberry Pi 4 I'm talking about this is not a computer but uh, my materials at 66 I still need to keep building more now I feel like playing a network game with this tell me any of you guys used to play Starcraft and if you did leave it in the comments below if you guys enjoyed this video please hit that like button if you guys have any questions about this hit them in the comments below i'm going to be spending my next probably half an hour trying to finish this game even though i know i'm going to lose if you guys are new to this channel consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out and as i say my nerd cave until it hurts oh i need to build some barracks now oh man look I Supply depot. Uh, should I want? Do I want to block up the entrance? Oh, I didn't even think about blocking up the entrance. Which corner am I on? Oh. So let's just do that for now. Build some more supplies. 